What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to stop getting the ball stolen in the post. Let's get started. Now allow me to reintroduce myself. They call me J-O, A to the easy E. Know that we undefeated, y'all are beneath them speeds is trying to air a grievance. But his lines are overhead, better check the air for all right, Hoopers, well, like I said, we're gonna go over how to stop getting the ball stolen if you're a big man inside the post area. Okay, so a lot of the times we're getting our catches as a big right near the block or on the block. Now, the first thing you gotta be able to do is see the court, right? As a big man, if you're just tunnel vision and you're just focused on going right towards the basket, you, that's when a lot of the times bad things are gonna happen. You're getting the ball stolen, they'll poke the ball loose, they'll force you to pick the ball up, you get your shot blocked, things like that, because you're not thinking about and you're not aware of what's going on around you. So the first thing you gotta do, in less, right? So if you feel like you can catch it and immediately go to score, that's an exception. But if you have the defender behind you that's playing you and that's in good position, first thing you gotta do before you just start dribbling it is to catch and just to survey very quickly. Catch, okay, I got it set. I see you got a guy here, everybody else is over there. Now I can go to work. Right, I can now start my move, but if I catch it and immediately go here and just look here, what if there's a guy in this corner? I catch, I look, boom, he's coming to steal the ball from me, okay? So I've got to make sure that I catch, I feel number one, I feel out my defender and how they're playing me, and at the same time I'm surveying everything that's going on around so I know where the defenders are placed. I can say, hey, get through, get through. So now there's nobody in this area so I don't have to worry about anything over here. I can focus on everybody else on the other side of the court, all right? So that's the first thing you gotta be thinking about, being aware of what's around you. See who the players are, what they're trying to do, their positioning on the court, so you know when you can attack and how you're going to attack the defense. All right, Hoopers, well, after you've now surveyed the court, you're aware of what's going on, now you have to worry about this defender here. How are they playing you, right? If the defender's here and they're giving you that positioning, you know, they're taking away the middle and they're forcing you this way, that's great, right? You've got the advantage now. You can even catch it, open up, and give them a quick rip to the basket, or we could just catch and spin this way. Now, when we spin or anything, we have to make sure that we're always protecting the basketball, okay? So when I spin here, I don't want to put the ball right back on this side close to the defender. If I'm going to spin away from them, i got to spin with that ball on the outside hand so now I can go to score and I can attack, okay? Now, if the defender's playing here, force me to the middle, this might mean there's help there, but now I can go to the middle of the court and I can make a play. So you do have to worry about the positioning of this defender. Because if you're not aware of how they're playing you, this is where times are where you might be able to, you might try to go the wrong way, they cut you off, they poke the ball loose, right? Or you don't feel that they're playing you on one side and you have the ball left out over here and they just poke it from behind right to a teammate off their going. Okay, so you do need to be paying attention. That's important that you know what's going on with your defender. Know how they're playing you and how you're going to execute the right move to get by them. All right, so we've, we've caught the ball, we've surveyed, we feel and how, you know, how the defenders are playing us, we clear them out, whatever. Now we've got to worry about what this guy is doing. How are they playing us? How are we going to attack in order to make the best decision possible? All right, so we've got one more step after this to help you prevent the defense from stealing the ball from you. All right, Hoopers, next, when you're in the post area, we've talked about surveying the court, we've talked about worrying about this defender. We now have to make sure that our positioning is done correctly, right? When you're in the post, you don't want to just open up at him and then put the ball in front. We have to protect the ball. So if you are a face-up player, you got to be able to protect the basketball by moving it. If you can palm it, you put the ball away, but you're also protecting it at the same time. If you got your back turned towards them, obviously you've got your back on them, that's protecting you, but you also have an arm bar here, right? Just as if you're a guard, you're out there on the perimeter, you've got the arm bar out, you're protecting the basketball. In the post, it's the same thing. You're using your body and your back to shield the defender, but if they try to reach around, that's when you have your arm bar there and it's ready to prevent. And they reach around the opposite way where the ball's at, that's why your foot position is also important. Because if I'm here, right, I'm too square. But if I'm here, I've got an angle where now, if I wanted to spin, I could just drop step. If I wanted to attack middle, I just go this way. So I'm in a better position when my foot positioning is here rather than here. This is fine on the catch to feel the defender, but we've got to be able to adjust. 
Okay, we want to put our body in the best position possible to help us protect the basketball, using our arm bar, using our foot position to shield the defender off properly with depending on upon how they're playing us defensively. Okay, so again, survey the court, be aware of what's going on and how other defenders are playing you as well. Are they in a position to try to dig the ball out and force you to pass it? Or are they waiting for you to turn their head? Then we look at them and we clear them out, move them out of the way. Then we feel how our defender's playing us, right? So then we know how to execute an attack. But we also have to make sure we're protecting the basketball at the same time, putting ourselves in the best position to protect the basketball so the defender cannot steal the ball from us. That's what this video was all about. Putting together all those three things will help you become a better player inside the post area when it comes to protecting the basketball. If you don't have the ball, you can't score, but you can do your job before that and you can do your job after. Once you have the ball, do those necessary steps in order to protect the ball the best you can and then execute and go to work. All right, big man, well, there you go. There's how you protect the basketball so you don't get the ball stolen anymore inside the post area. Make sure you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Most importantly, please click that subscribe button to join Think Pro Basketball where we're helping, giving you professional training to provide you with in-game results to make you the best player that you want to be. So make sure you follow Think Pro Basketball, check out all the great content we have to offer. Now, you know what I always say, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember to always keep hooping.